What is up you guys? It's your boy Gio back at you guys today with a seasonal video. I said in the last video like yo you guys want me to do some seasonal stuff and some of you guys were like yeah yo that'd be tight and so I was like alright for sure. Um, So we're gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna name this video like I don't want to like five tips to be successful on seasonal. It might necessarily not be five. It's going to be five, but I not, might not have that in the title. You've already seen the title if you're here, so it doesn't really matter. But um, I'm just going to show you guys like where I'm standing in the rankings on seasonal right now. And it's not great. They're not good, really, at all. But um, from where I've come from, from where I used to be... Like, where I used to be, like, ranked in, like, like at 20,000. There's a ton of people that do seasonal. They, they make multiple accounts. They hop right on seasonal and, and get on it, like, fast, you know? Um, that is not, that is not what I do. I make one account, and I try my best. <laughs> As you can see, that's my team right there. We're almost at 400k power, which is a little bit, um, just near, like, the some of the best players on the server right now have... It's about 400k power but they most of them have 10 stars we don't have a 10 star yet which is unfortunate but i do want to add that most of them have garbage 10 stars so i'm not going to talk we can talk about that later i guess so um right now we're ranked 841 which the top thousand we used to be like top 400 that it's it's what it is that's where we're ranked at the campaign as you guys can see it's super close they're at 21 9 i'm at 27 and I mean, there are 21, that goes all the way down to 21.5, and I'm at 26. It's just, and there, this guy is four levels higher than me. He's ranked in the top 50, you know? So it's just really close. The top, like, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, all pretty close. Um, so to begin, um, so that's my campaign ranking. Where I'm at on the Tower of Oblivion, I'm stuck right now, for now, on level 342. Excuse me. The rankings go all the way down to 387, so I'm not, I don't, I think I'm probably pretty rough ranked in the Tower of Oblivion um, at 1,482. I do think I'll be able to get, I'll be able to close that gap there a little bit. I'm just, you know, we're doing some stuff, but, and we don't have any 10 stars yet. That That's what it is. Everyone, a lot of the people right now just have like one good 10 star carrying their team, you know? And that's not what we have, really. So as you guys can see, I have like more power than the, quite a few of these guys. They have their 2-star enabled, 12-star, um, Flame Strike, Aiden, Flame Strike, you know. That, that's what they have. So, I'm glad they have Flame Strike. When everyone else catches up, Flame Strike will be irrelevant. So, you might not see those guys doing anything with their, like, their idol hero career, because Flame Strike is... Yeah, she'll, she'll get you ahead of the game in the beginning, but not for long. You won't be there for long. So, I mean, unless, like, this guy here, he has a Faith Blade. He has a Vesa. He has some stuff going on for him. Like, this guy here literally just has that two-star enabled Flame Strike. And then, and I hope they didn't put everything they have into, into these heroes because Flame Strike, when everyone else gets, like, a team of one-star enabled heroes, 12, 11, 12, 13-star heroes, they're, it's not gonna really matter. Gru won't be very like like dominant in any any kind of battle. Walter is whatever. He's not gonna do much for you either later down the line. Flame strike. So as you can you can see like a common um, Lord Balrang or whatever his name is um, or King King ba whatever his name is. This guy like like I'm shaking my head right now. I don't know if you guys can see. He's pretty good. So I mean that's that's nice. Flame strike sucks. Flame strike. So that's what you'll see all the way down, all the way down. We'll scroll down to the bottom of arena. Um, flame strike ten stars down here. You know, um, so two star and I don't know why that guy's not higher up. Ten star. So that's flame strike. Um, I just wanted you guys to see that. Doesn't really have much with like the much to do with the five tips or the tips I'm going to give you guys today on how to be successful in arena. I just wanted to show you my power compared to the power of the the top people. I the only reason I'm not ranked higher than I am is because I'm not like I'm not investing <laughs> in casino chips. Um, no, in uh, arena tokens, and so that's the the reason for that. Because I mean, for them to be ranked so high, a big part of it is them, you know. Um, 
getting some casino chips and stuff going um, gosh arena tokens they're getting arena tokens that's what it is <laughs> so and you have to buy a lot of them because like they have so many more points than i do it's just because they've won some more battles because they're buying these chips and i'm not gonna focus on that because it's not that important to me so let's watch this video real quick and just see like what's going on because I don't know, that Gru's there, they have a Sigmund, which which could, like, you know, just kind of depends sometimes, which could influence the, the wins here, so hopefully we can, alright, so their, their Cruise didn't do a lot when he went down, it's a 50, alright, so we're good on that, um, so we're at 1,408, they have 2,590 2, trophies. I don't even want to like do the math on how many arena tokens they've had to buy. Granted, granted, once you get up there, people are going. These people are going to be attacking him and giving him more points and stuff. But like, yeah, these people spent a lot. That's that's how you get up there. Like, I'm sure I could beat some of these people that are here with the team I have now. That flame strike. That flame strike. This flame strike here. Yes, this 10 star flame strike with the crowd control I have. She'll get stunned. She'll get silenced. She will get petrified, and she'll barely be able to do It's only one hero. You know, these guys will all die. Then you'll just have my whole team hitting the one hero, and it's happened before. I've had to battle a 10-star flame strike, and she just gets stunned. And, I mean, it'll go back and forth, but I can beat those teams. All right, so let's just let's just stop. Let's just... <laughs> I keep getting distracted because that's so funny. They're all 10-star flame strike. So, I will let you guys... Um, well, we will start with the actual tips now. I'm sorry for the long intro to the video six seven minutes or whatever i just wanted to give you guys some background so um for to get um so let's see to be like rank i know campaign doesn't really reward you but i don't know i feel i feel you know i feel like some satisfaction for being ranked high in the campaign you get a lot of stuff out of it as well so just make sure you grind this campaign here as soon as you unlock levels you're gonna want to try to beat those. You're gonna want to be try to max, try to be maxed out on the campaign all the time. You don't. You want to collect your loot. Never let it go past eight hours. Just so you can be in the top of the rankings. Just so you can get those summons faster. So you can get all the loot faster than everyone else. This game is like, um, it's like a sprint. It's not a mar. It's well, it's a marathon. It's a sprint at first in seasonal, you know, and then it transitions into a marathon, and that's when you'll see those people that flame strike. With the flame strikes that sprinted, they're not going to be able to transition into a marathon as well as they would like. Um, so I would like to think that we have some pretty good root heroes here. At least we will go with Cruz and Demon Hunter, um, Dark Arthendal for sure. So we have those three heroes. Gurky will work for now. Um, Sigmund will, you know, always be valuable. So, like, that's what we have. I mean, we don't just have one flame strike who's OP'd the beginning of the games, and then we'll die. But whatever. <laughs> so, you want to grind campaign, and you want to grind towers to keep your ranking up. I mean, I can't beat this tower level right now, but I will, you know, continue to grow my team, continue to try it, try it, try it. Because that's especially a big part at the beginning of the game when you don't have your... When you don't have the spirit or the promotion stone or whatever... You're going to need that. You're going to need that. That's what's going to slow you down is getting that promotion stone. So, like, I mean, it sucks when you get stuck, right? When you get stuck and you, the only way you can beat that level is if you had promotion stone to upgrade your team. That is, like, the oldest story in the book. It happens to everybody, guys. But you're going to have to just keep trying, keep changing your team around, beat these levels, grind them out any way you can, and you'll get, I mean, you'll get there. You'll get there eventually. So... Another thing is if you're having trouble finding promotion stone promotion stones You can I mean you can get them a few places you can get them from the marketplace as well And you can get them from the Aspen dungeon The marketplace if you just go this is like early game first couple days if you just go through spend 100 you'll have an excess of gold right off the bat, you know spend 120k gold get your promotion stone because gold's not like the problem in seasonal promotion stone really is sometimes even spirit in like early um early cu first couple days why am i connected to xfinity wi-fi that is not the plan here guys that is not the plan discord clone evolution all right come on 
All right, yo guys, we are back. Sorry about that. The internet is rough out here where I live. All right, but um, what as I was saying, I mean, I always buy this dust as well. That'll be another tip that I have for you guys later on. But when you need that promotion stone in the beginning of the game, in the sprint part of the game, you can come here. You can grab. I'll grab these as well, and that will be another tip that I give you guys. And you know, you'll just grab this promotion stone. That 300 promotion stone that we just got will help, like, first day. And then sometimes you can you can send 600 gems to get 2k promotion stones, which will make a difference. A huge... 2k promotion stones on the first day is a ton. Um, I mean, it just kind of depends on your priorities. 600 gems block. is very valuable, though, so you don't necessarily want to... Uh, spend that lightly, you know? But, um, moving on from, from that... Complete of completing events is a huge like might be the biggest tip I can give you guys We finished the fusion event. I mean we'll never finish I, don't, I haven't really been doing this event just because you have to spend so many gems to buy those tickets of, On the broken spaces, but you can get good stuff here like dust and um, gold and stuff Which is nice and valuable profit summon event We just finished that one one of those which was nice completed the whole casino event Super easy event. One of the first ones that you'll be able to complete. These super casino chips are super valuable, guys. You're going to want to grab those. Tavern quests we are working on. Heroic Miracle event was the first event I completed. These super casino chips and these summons are so valuable, you guys. Um, last but not least, that summon event I did complete. You know, you get these light and dark heroes. Um, you get all this gold and, and uh, spirit, which allows you to grow your team tremendously. Um... Which is like that's a huge if you're not completing events, you're not doing it The other people that are ahead of you are completing their events And that's why you're like why how do they have so why how do people getting 10 star heroes on the third day? You know stuff like that. It's because they're completing the event playing the game smart and getting very lucky All right, so yeah, they, they are getting lucky, but I mean there's other things next like I was telling you guys would be playing smart so Pretty much that for me is just not like putting everything into your one hero. People have Dragon Slayers 10 starred, which is like not necessarily my thing because Dragon Slayer is going to be actual shit when like when people start to catch up. Yes, you can fodder 10 star heroes now, but you'll be so far behind because you put all your resources into that 10 star hero that it's just going to it's going to put you behind a ton. So that's being smart. Next I can probably elaborate on that a little bit more later, just trying to get through these and then we'll attack on that later. Summons, they're one of the most, like, if not most important thing, you want to be able to summon as much as you can because that's where the luck, you're, you're not going to have any luck if you don't summon, right? So you're going to be able to get, you're going to be able to get some summons from the tavern, I mean, you'll want to do refreshes, you'll want to get as many quests as you can you want to come here and just refresh refresh try to get some heroic summons you'll want to buy your heroic summons from the market you'll want to buy your heroic summons from the aspen dungeon you'll want to get your heroic summons from your events you'll want to get heroic summons from the campaign in the early days when they give you like a few you want to get regular summons because sometimes they'll drop a five star you want to get as many summons from wherever in the game you can get and um you know that is like that's what it is because if you're not summoning, you're not getting heroes. Like, that's pretty much the gist of it. Profit summons are the same. It's a little bit less likely you'll get profit summons. There's so many ways to get heroic summons. That's why I'm stressing this on you guys. I mean, just summon, summon, summon. Keep the summons going. Like, the first day before the reset, like, the first day I, the seasonal comes out, you're going to want 10 to 20 summons just naturally that you grind it out. You know, you, you're finding the weird quests. You're, fi you're finishing quests, getting gems finding events, campaigning, grinding in this campaign. Every level you get will give you 10 gems, which means 10, 10 times 130. I've got, what, 1,330 gems or whatever, which is a lot. I mean, the first, the first like, couple days, you're at, you're at level 60, which is 600 gems. You know, just stuff like that. You're going to want to be able to do that stuff. Do what you can to get as many summons as you can so you can be ahead in the beginning and then be smart and ready for the marathon, you know? So don't, don't just... Waste it all in one 10 star hero that's not going to be any good later on. Lastly, be resourceful. Um, that was know where to get what you need. That was kind. Of, that was the last tip that, that was kind of, we kind of hit on that with the last one that I just did. But like I said, you're going to want to know where you can find your heroic summons, where you can get more gold, where you can get more diamonds, 
where you can get more profit orbs, where you can get more spirit, where you can get more um, promotion stone. And yes, you're going to run out of options for all of this stuff and then you'll actually be stuck. I can't necessarily do anything right now, you know. I have these gems. I'm not going to want to spend them. I don't want to spend them on like single summons right now. I'm going to save them for after the reset. That's fine. You can do that. But um, if I need, if I was close to getting an event, right? If I like, if I was close to completing this casino event, I would go, huh? I need 20 casino chips. I have 1,600. I have 1,600 gems. It's 50 coins. Of ca it's 50 gems a casino chip. Maybe I would go buy the 20 from the casino naturally. Spend a, spend 1,000 chips. Or you could go here if you haven't bought your 16 casino chips yet from your daily. You can get 16 casino chips from the market every day for 240 or 260 diamonds I believe. That's way cheaper than what it when than what that 1000 diamonds I was going to spend earlier. So you can do that if the Aspen dungeon is open that day. I mean, man, save your gems for the Aspen dungeon to open cuz go in there and you will you'll find some crazy deals <clears throat> and some you'll get heroic summons. You'll get like five heroic summons for like 275 gems. And that's that's where it's at, guys. For sure, that's where it's at. Um, you will run out of places to get these things, though, and you will be stuck. But like, that's just the way the game is. You'll have to wait for reset. That happens sometimes. But you are gonna want to know where you can get everything and anything that you might need. Sometimes I don't. I probably this is me personally. I feel that when in seasonal, it's so fast paced that like I alter a lot of my three star, all of my three star, four star heroes for the most part until later on which i know does have its like which has its cons for sure because i won't be able to um make six star heroes as easily as i would have um if i had them because i won't be able to make those five star heroes but um promotion stone at the beginning of the game like i said is super important and i needed that um so you know i just disassemble most of them and that's that because I know three star, four star heroes I'll be able to get. Even five star heroes come on seasonal quick. You know, they come quick on the way you play, depending. Um, another thing I should say is challenges, man. Come on, challenges, guys. Like I'm saying, you're like pretty much the whole overall what I'm trying to convey to you guys in this video is you're going to want to know where you can get what you need in this game. Challenges and seasonal is one of the best places to get resources. Look at all these ones I've already completed. You, uh, you know, I got the profits, um, promotion stones from here. Hella diamonds. I got that. That's from a nine star. This is your account registration. Everyone should at least get that one done. We're going to get this done today. Everyone should get that one to done today. Eventually, you'll get this, you know, grinding out these. Look how much these, these, uh, these, um, these ch challenges are giving me now. 800 gems when I hit level 140. That's insane. 600 gems here, 400 here, 200 here. That's because each level, each one you beat, you get a harder one with more gems. And that's, that's like huge, you know? If you're not doing your challenges, if you're not doing your quests, if you don't know where to get stuff and you're not experienced on where everything is in the game, you're not going to be successful in the very beginning of seasonal. Because yes, it is luck. Your summons come down to luck, but if you're able to get your summons, if you're able to figure out how to play the game to where you can get your two heroes you need, two good heroes, main five star heroes, and the six stars, and the five star fodder you need, to six star it and then and then you're gonna need the promotion stone to grow it you're gonna need to know how to get um whatever this green shit is called i keep forgetting what it's called i've been playing this game for like a two years now i always forget what it's called um you're gonna want to know where you can get gold where you can get more gems you can get casino chips arena tokens you're gonna want to know that stuff so you can grind it out in the beginning that's probably <laughs> that's probably my whole lecture I think I probably repeated myself quite a few times. I just um, wanted to get that, like, get what's through, get that through to you guys, you know, so we can get that straightened out. Let's see. I'm trying to, how much? 21k. I have him on HP right now. But um, thank you guys for watching. I, the only reason I have Cruz on HP is because his heal does not is is, is um based off of his target's total health and not necessarily attack. Now um Vesa, I would have her on attack so she can heal more Cruz. I had on HP just because he's not necessarily on the team for damage. He's on the team because of his stun. 
his damage is reasonable, and um, his heal. You know, he has a nice heal. That's that's what he's there for. So I'll keep him around longer. The only thing with that is you'll activate his stun later on. But I also do like when um, damage and become weakened for three rounds. So he weakens enemy allies, enemy heroes as well. So that's why I don't necessarily do attack on crews. 17% block. I don't trust block yet. I don't even know what that is. I get what it is. It's like the new dodge kind of thing. Come on. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get an HP. We'll do attack for now, just because like I told you guys, I would I wasn't like looking for attack, but um, some stones don't have every single option, and we refreshed so many times that I wasn't just gonna keep keep wasting stuff. So, we'll, like next time we upgrade it, we will go look for the HP one or whatever like the better stone is. But um, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys you know, took away something from this video, if it, like, even if it's, like, this guy's, like, annoying and funny, that's fine. I hope you guys learned a little bit. Um, I very much appreciate you guys watching. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Um, lastly, guys, I enjoy, I joined a guild, which was, like, I think we, I wasn't even, I wasn't even in this guild war. Finished 22nd in the guild war, which is, like, fine, it's not bad. Um, this go around but it's weird i felt like it's kind of like a cult everyone has to have like the same thing that's weird is that like a thing that people do let me know like if you got to the end of the video comment below have you ever seen a guild where everyone has to have the same profile picture or you're like not in it like you're not allowed in the guild if you don't have the same profile picture um your team offline 10 hours equals a kick number eight equals kick no rate attack equals kick no 8 star equals kick. Damn, strict. But you gotta be strict to be in the top. But, um, alright, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. I will catch you guys later.